My name is Patrick Lau. Uh, I'm the international director uh, as well as the finance uh, director of the school for the last 18 years. So uh, that's what I do here. Lokens College is about 43 years old, so it's a relatively young school, and uh, the school has uh, about 2,800 students presently. It started with about uh, 1,500 students, so it's a, a boys and girls uh, school here. Overseas students, I will assume, will be uh, the international students who come here. Uh, it's about 150 of them, and also uh, the migrants uh, who uh, come to settle down in, in, in New Zealand and Auckland. So over 60% of our population here uh, are from Asian origin. Of course, there's also uh, some from uh, UK and South Africa as well. It's a very diverse uh, school. We have over 80 odd nationalities uh, in this school. Regardless of whether it's international or the, the local students, uh, we offer uh, spaces uh, from uh, 13 years old to 18 years old and in New Zealand 13 years old will be a year 9 student and they'll finish high school uh, year 13 so a child spends basically five years in uh, high school uh, for their uh, university entrance qualification. Wonderful. We have a quite a sizable ESL department here that caters for uh, students from uh, overseas. As a package, including accommodation and, school, uh, and uh, tuition fees and incidentals, uh, presently is about uh, NZ uh, $45,000 per year. Uh, the accommodation, uh, we only provide homestays and it is uh, $350 uh, per week at the moment. Most of our uh, students uh, will go back during the long summer holidays from December and January because they obviously miss their families. They will, the majority of them will, will go home. Uh, uh, there is always a handful who says I want to stay on, enjoy the summer here. And of course the homestays families typically will welcome them uh, and they can stay on. If the homestay families cannot, then we'll always find other families who can perhaps look after them for the summer months. Uh, so it's not a problem, it's quite common. It's not just for international students. Uh, um, we have usually a graduating class uh, at the final year, about 500 of them. Uh, usually about 100 of them might be domestic, it might be international in the, in the, in the, in the past. Majority of them would uh, try to uh, stay in New Zealand. Uh, they go to Auckland University, uh, which is their preference. There are other, seven other universities in New Zealand they can choose from. Uh, but increasingly, we notice uh, that uh, international as well as our local students uh, prefer to go to uh, uh, Sydney and Melbourne for their tertiary. And every year, we do have a handful that will go to the US uh, with the top universities like Harvard, MIT, or even Oxford and Cambridge in the UK. So uh, we do have kids spread out around the world, but majority will be in New Zealand. Uh, sizable numbers are now in Australia. Uh, and that seems to be the trend at the moment. Uh, as a school, we have about uh, six uh, professionally trained counselors uh, with teaching background. Uh, they basically cater for the emotional pastoral uh, needs of the, the students. Uh, for the international, we have one specifically uh, looking after international students. So uh, my colleague, uh, she will uh, interview, uh, uh, chat with the kids uh, at least once uh, a term uh, to find out how they're doing and so on and so forth. So yes, we have one uh, dedicated to international students. As a school, there are six of them and we can always fall back on, on them if extra help is, uh, is required. McLean's College has always been known uh, domestically and of course now increasingly internationally to be one of the top academic schools uh, in, in New Zealand. Uh, and one of the unique uh, feature of us is we have the, the ability to offer uh, two pathways for the senior years. Uh, meaning that uh, when the student is at the year 12, uh, he or she can just decide whether he wants to do the local NCEA or the Cambridge International because we offer the Cambridge International which is the equivalent to the UK A levels. So, uh, so a student has the option to choose whether they want to do A levels or continue with NCEA uh, to get their university entrance. Of course, as any top schools in New Zealand, we offer a wide variety of uh, facilities and so on which the videos would have captured the essence of it sports facilities art facilities music facilities we want our kids not just to be academically good but 
uh, holistically develop as an individual. Of course, we welcome uh, students from everywhere, and but the important attributes we look for is uh, the student, first of all, has the motivation, has the desire to achieve, uh, knowing that he or she wants to uh, do uh, his or her best uh, to achieve academically as well as to develop as an individual. Uh, the level of English and the academic ability is at least average to above average, so they can handle uh, the the rigorous uh, curriculum that we, we do here. Um, so if they have that attributes, they are more than welcome. Well, I've been in this uh, position for a long time, as, I, as you probably realize. So I've seen many, many kids that come and go, and it's a personal satisfaction to see them coming and then achieving and then graduating. And then many of them are out there uh, happily working as successful individuals. Uh, the opportunities are, are great here. New Zealand is a very good uh, comfortable countries for young kids to come to receive sound uh, education, safe, uh, to prepare themselves. And then, of course, once they have the qualifications, they can go anywhere else in the world for their tertiary. So, as a country, New Zealand is a good choice. Of course, McLean so is one of the better choices. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, 